Hello, today we embark on an exciting journey back in time to explore the TV series Doctor in the House. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of this classic show. Doctor in the House is a timeless gem that has left indelible mark on television history. Join us as we relive the magic, revisiting those with the entire cast of then and now. We will explore the names and initial ages of the talented actors on the show and witness their transformation in 2024. So without further ado, let's dive into the world of Doctor in the House. Jean Mockford was born in 1926 in the series she played First Pregnant Lady. In 1969, when she was in the series, she was 43 years old, and sadly she passed away on November 16, 2018, at the age of 92. Do you hear anything, Doctor? Doctor? Uh, he's asleep! Have you any property go missing? No. No, not that I know of. Oh, would you like another cup? No. N no, don't. Jeffrey Davies was born in 1938 in the TV series he played Dick Stewart Clark. In 1969, when he was in the series, he was 31, and sadly he passed away on July 13, 2023, at the age of 84. Oh, I say I'm no good. I mean, I, I can't do anything, can I? I mean, I, I'm only the president. Anyway, I must dash, actually. Potatoes, yes. Now, the vas itself isn't actually in the, um... Sausage. No, no. <laughs> it's located down here somewhere. Somewhere down... It's... Jonathan Lynn was born in 1943. In the series, he played Danny Holy. In 1970, when he was in the series, he was 27 years old, and now he's 80 years old. There's Upton, trotting along with their heels like a little corgi. They're going around the back now to plant the tree. And plant the tree, you know. If I was a gardener, I'd be out on strike if they brought in black leg. Yeah, everybody I met said to me, who is that wonderful actress in Vinny? So I wasn't a bit surprised. I mean, I knew that... Robin Netwell was born in 1946 in the series he played Duncan Waring. In 1969, when he was in the series, he was 23, and sadly he passed away on February 1st, 1999, at the age of 52. Yes, oh master. Do you see this needle? Yes, oh master. I am going to push it into your arm. Yes, oh master. And you work. Particularly with television screens, is eye fatigue. Now, although eye fatigue isn't a serious problem, it can be prevented by following a few basic rules. The sighting. Nicholas Smith was born in 1934. In the series, he played Mortuary Kipper. In 1970, when he was in the series, he was 36, and sadly he passed away on December 6, 2015, at the age of 81. 79 Street G, but he's gone and lost it. Now look, I loaded cadaver Jones BB onto your earth an hour ago. It wasn't there an hour ago. Things you can get from off the buck from off the bar. Well, as far as the songs I'm sure, but there's only one thing to do. George Layton was born in 1942. In the TV series, he played Paul Collier. In 1969, when he was in the series, he was 27, and now he's 82. Aye, aye, he's got his punch ball fixed up then. Oh, God, I'll never get any work done. I don't know, he's a good six seconds walk away. It's been so long ago. First of all, I got the part not long after my first child, my oldest son was born, after a little spell out of work. Martin Shaw was born in 1945 in the series to play Hugh Evans. In 1969, when he was in the series, he was 24, and now he's 79. Exams! Exams! Oh, oh, come on, lads. You haven't got exams until next month. They start the same day as my pathology exam. Exactly, David. It can be very funny yeah. because the audience knows what's happening and what should be the, the result of the yeah. conversation, but the two protagonists don't. Don't. I Renee Houston was born in 1902. In the series, she played Mrs. Muir. In 1969, when she was in the series, she was 67 years old. Sadly, she passed away on February 9th, 1980, at 77. Well, of course, I'll need two pounds rent in advance. And this is your keys, you see? Yes. Oh. Barry Evans was born in 1943. In the series, she played Michael Upton. In 1969, when he was in the series, he was 26, and sadly he passed away on February 9th, 1997, at 53. 
hypnotized him and we tried to get him to bark every time he heard the word dog. Ah! <laughs> worked. And then we hypnotized him again to try and stop him doing it and I got him into a trance and I couldn't get John Benham was born in 1918 in the series she played Mrs. Loftus. In 1969, when she was in the series, she was 51, and sadly she passed away on June 13, 1981, at the age of 63. Get up to? Yeah. <laughs> of course, when I was a girl, my young men rarely thought of anything more thrilling than dragging me around the park. <laughs> Ernest Clark was born in 1912. In the series, he played Professor Loftus. In 1969, when he was in the series, he was 57, and sadly he passed away on November 11, 1994, at the age of 82. Critical surgical emergencies. And you've rather well got to know about it. Oh dear. He stopped breathing. <laughs> Angela Scholar was born in 1945. In the series, she played Fiona. In 1969, when she was in the series, she was 24 years old, and sadly she passed away on April 11, 2011, at 65. Shouldn't we... No, no. Nice and gentle. <laughs> Mike Grady was born in 1946. In the series, he played fourth medic. In 1969, when he was in the series, he was 23, and now he's 78. Three years now. God. Is it really? God saw you looking tired. When we reflect on the incredible journey of Doctor in the House that took place from 1969 to 1970, witnessing their growth and transformation, we can see that the connection from those years left a lasting legacy. Their story continues to resonate with fans around the world. And as always, show some love. Hit the like button, subscribe for more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content.